Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% and exclusively free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it, again, free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up for this event, DM TBradley90 in MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys today as Matt, who goes by Chicago Trader, one of our head moderators in MIC chat, who puts together his weekly Sunday video series on the fundamental side of trading, the DD, and the SEC filings. Matt graces us with another weekly review. And while today is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become a member of MIC. Hey everyone, it's Chicago Trader checking in for the weekly fundamental video here in the uh, second week of July. I uh, apologize for not having one out last week. Short week, extremely slow week, so I figured it was, you know, I was out of town. So I figured it was a good one to take off, um, but definitely uh, picked up back up after uh, CEI started moving this week. So going to go over just a few uh, names real quick uh, that moved, and some of them, most of them gapped and crapped, but then, uh, you know, end with... Uh, uh, kind of the one I want to spend the most time on. But uh, first, you can't even tell, but this one, ADMA, it moved in pre-market and completely died off. Larger company, um, so I definitely try a little bit more cautiously personally. Um, but of course, guys, um, before I forget the disclaimer, it's not investment advice on my part, MIC's part. You guys know the deal. Um, but, you know, they had an offering here not too long ago, uh, about six weeks ago. And I'm always you know, kind of a tread uh, cautiously, you know, if you're going to be a short seller for me anyways, um, when you get an insider purchase of the offering, uh, you know, it's a large company. It's nothing that I personally want to fight, but you can see here, if you go down here a little bit, um, some of the insiders participated in the offering. Um, you know, I think in one of the past uh, videos in the past couple of weeks I made, um, I kind of went over some of the um, recent movers that, you know, had insider purchases and were kind of uh, pain in the butt if you were short. Quick was uh, VISL, um, was definitely a nice mover um, until they absolutely destroyed this. You can see here, beautiful gap up, um, you know, definitely ran longer than most expected, I would say. So they came out, um, and I want to compare this to another name. They came out right after, you know, I think it closed at like eight or nine or, you know, close pretty strong. And uh, they come out and they come um, with this S1. It didn't have effect. Um, but then the day after it moves, they come out and they say that they're going to be uh, issuing 7 million shares of common um, pre-funded warrants to purchase um, 7 million. And then there's just regular warrants to purchase 7 million. Um, so you got, let's just call it 22 million and, uh, potential dilution. So this one just did a reverse split as well. Um, had about two, two and a half million in OS. So again, it's kind of the same thing. You just, uh, look at it and, I mean, you know, thousand percent dilution roughly, give or take a little bit. doesn't really matter. Company is going to be in trouble once this starts to get dumped. So that one with the pre-funded warrants and the percentage, right? That's just very toxic. Um, when you have eight, nine hundred, a thousand percent potential dilution. Um, so that one, uh, VLRX back, you know, in the uh, one in November of 18. Hey, traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.